we're back okay i i look like i just woke up because i just woke up but we're back with another fake scenario in which i am no longer a full-time makeup reviewer i have a normal makeup collection well i need to have a normal makeup collection and downsize to be more of a normal person and i'm gonna show you if that situation were to god forbid ever happen to me which tom ford palettes i would declutter and i feel like this one is going to be hard for me because tom ford palettes are like at a minimum 90 dollars so obviously i keep these because i paid a pretty penny for these but if my life depended on it and i had to be a normal makeup consumer still a little abnormal though you'll see at the end of this here's what i would get rid of and what i would keep but just remember it's not actually happening Okay, let's dive in. Okay, this drawer I feel like aesthetically is not as exciting, but these are all of my Tom Ford palettes. I'm actually about to reorganize this and because these can be stacked really well and make more room for more palettes. Like, you know, my Pat McGrath drawer is overflowing as you saw in my other video. So back here, I keep all of the you know velvet holders that they come in for travel and whatnot i meant to throw these away but then i actually kept them because i moved last year almost across the country and it was really great for an added layer of protection so ever since that i'm like you never know i should be a hoarder and keep these so <laughs> i'm just gonna throw these back here for now and let's eye the palettes now tom ford i feel like launches so many quads all the time i haven't kept up because they're so expensive they're like 90 dollars each but if they come to the cosmetic company store and i don't own them then i will pick them up because they're usually at a good price so let's see which ones i would declutter i would say i i first of all i haven't decluttered these because i love them i think they're great and they're so expensive i did declutter one of these big guys but i couldn't bring it to uh declutter the rest so let's start off by looking at these so this is the soleil iron cheek in cool absolutely would be keeping this one because it is stunning i love purples i love the all-in-one factor so that is a keep for me then we have the violet argente and this one I actually was this close to decluttering but decided to give it another chance because I love the cheek colors in here. But if I didn't have a YouTube channel, right, or if I needed to downsize my collection, this one definitely would be one of the first ones to go. So for this fake scenario, might as well declutter it. So then we have Intensity 2 Moonlight Violet. Absolutely will be holding on to this you can see i haven't used it that much which is such a shame because it's so beautiful i'm gonna have to put this at my makeup desk to be used because this is stunning definitely keeping this tom ford does a beautiful job with purples and then we have this rose cashmere so this one is a lighter one i think it is so beautiful i'm more partial to keeping these big ones than the quads because you get quads as well as cheek colors so i definitely would hold on to this one because it is so beautiful and so expensive okay let's start breaking into the quads here let's see so we'll start off with metallic dream right here this one is so beautiful and i really love the formula of this it's not one that i reach for all of the time but this gives a really tom ford-esque kind of smoky eye and i haven't played in my tom ford quads recently because i don't know i've been on a little bit of a boycott but like opening these up is re-inspiring me and kind of exciting me to play with these again so i would hold on to this one i think it's beautiful then we have Starry Night right here. Oh, this one is also so good. It's a very old one. It's long been discontinued, but I think it is so stunning and unique. So I would keep this one for sure. Gosh, I thought I would be more cutthroat with this, but I have a connection to these. So then we have Golden Mink. Now this one, I would declutter. It's pretty, but it never has wowed me for the price point. So, and it's also like just normal colors. Nothing about it stands out to me. So would declutter this. Next, we have Coquette right here. 
Now, Coquette, I've always felt like has looked a little patchy on my eyelids. It looks so beautiful in the packaging. And I also, of course, do feel as though it looked beautiful on the eyelids. But I definitely think I could get rid of this one if need be. It's just not as special as some of the others. Let's take a look at Rose Prisme right here, which in all actuality is not a bad palette, but it also isn't a stunning, amazing, must-have palette. I do like the formula, but it was on the lower end of my yearly rankings last year just because it wasn't giving for the price point. So I would be more partial to keep this because it's not bad and I paid so much for it, but if I needed to make more space, I would definitely let go of this one. It hardly shows up on my eyes. Next, we have Naked Pink. This is one of the worst palettes ever <laughs> released from Tom Ford. If I'm being honest, the only reason it's still in my collection is one, because I'm a collector, and two, because it's very fun to talk trash about this. You can almost see the hard pan still. It doesn't show up on the lid. The only useful shade is this one right here. So this one would immediately go. I mean, if I weren't a Tom Ford collector, this one would be out so quick. <laughs> Next, we have Chalet Lust. Now, this one is super duper icy. I wasn't wowed by it, but I still think it is gorgeous individually using the shades. Where the value is bad here is a lot of the shades look very similar to one another on the eyelids. But overall, it gives a really pretty sparkly effect on the eyes. So I would definitely have to hold on to this one. This one is Lava Luster. This is one of my favorite Tom Ford quads. These shades are absolutely beautiful, very impactful on the eyelid. This one is a definite keep. It's one of my all-time faves from Tom Ford. It's a shame it was limited edition because it was beautiful. You know, see, now I want to buy more Tom Ford, Tom Ford quads. <laughs> if you've tried any of the new ones, let me know your stance on them. Are there any must-haves? I haven't even been paying attention, haven't even really looked at them or looked up any reviews. But now I'm like, I need more. Okay, this is... Sue Le Sable. Oh my god, don't make fun of my pronunciation. This one is pretty on the eyelid. It's very office friendly if you keep your makeup very, very neutral, but it doesn't do anything for me. It doesn't ignite anything for me. It doesn't scream Tom Ford quality to me either, so there's nothing special about it. So this one would be decluttered for sure. Tiger Eye. So this one is that newish at this point formula that came out last year. I think this one is pretty. It's fine. It's definitely not not worth the price point. I'm like, this one is on standby. I mean, if I'm going to be cutthroat, I might declutter it, right? But I still think it's pretty. Hmm. You know what? I think I would keep this one. I did like it. It's not amazing, but I liked it, and it's a good formula from Tom Ford. So this is De La Creme. This one is also, like, it's nice, it's basic, it's Tom Ford quality, but if I need to be realistic, like a normal human being, these shades aren't anything special. This isn't even a special Tom Ford formula. It's just some mattes and some shimmers. So this one could definitely go, which is really disappointing. I mean, I'm not actually dis <laughs> um, <laughs> decluttering this, but it is disappointing this palette overall because I thought I would love this color story and it just, it didn't work out that way. So we have Disco Dust right here, which I thought I would love. And it was very recommended by you guys, but honestly, I just never loved the looks I got with this. I felt like this dark shade looked a little patchy. And it's the kind of thing with Tom Ford where it looks so much better on the eyes. And the overall look that you get with this palette is very, very pretty. But in the sense, is it worth $90? Absolutely not. So I think, you know, I would want to keep my Tom Ford collection to a minimum in general. And this one would definitely go. Okay, this one, Daydream, one of the best Tom Ford palettes to come out to date. I've got hundreds of you to purchase this one because it's so beautiful. One of the best purple palettes, one of the most beautiful, elegant, yet still purple palettes. Will have this in my collection forever if I could. <laughs> then we have Rose Topaz. So this is kind of like Tiger Eye. And 
I don't know, do I like this one better than Tiger Eye? I ended up liking Tiger Eye more than this one, and I thought this one would be up my alley. It's very cool toned, and I just feel like cool tones are harder to come by. So I guess I would keep this one. It's that formula, again, that's kind of like a creamy powder formula. I would keep it, but it's like kind of in the middle. It could go either way. Let's take a look at Arabesque here. So I do not like this one. This one I find looks patchy on the eyelids. I was really hopeful for this one. This one is one of my least favorite Tom Ford quads. So this one is an easy, if I had to declutter it, I wouldn't feel too much, too emotional about it. Okay, so we have First Frost. I really like First Frost. This is also one of the best ones to come out of the Tom Ford line. Each shade, what makes it special, is so different on the eyelid. You have a purpose for each shade. It gives such a soft, glimmery look while still looking extremely elegant. Ugh, one of the best. I absolutely have to keep this one. Okay, Suspicion is a really popular one. So I would have to keep this because it's the wet to dry formula from Tom Ford and it's just great golden tones. So I would keep this more just for how functional and wearable it is. It's just a great basic color. I've never been the biggest lover of Suspicion, but it is so well loved. And um, these do look beautiful in the eyes. I bought this from the cosmetic company outlet because I got a really good deal on this. So would keep that. Next we have Opre Ski, which this one, I don't know. I just didn't love the color story on this. I felt like all of the shades were very close to one another. And I feel like in my fake keep it collection that I've kept a lot of lighter tones like this, especially that first frost. So I'd probably declutter this one. As much as I love the wet to dry formula, the shades are just too close to one another to keep. Okay, Metal Lust is also an all-time favorite of mine from Tom Ford. Like when they hit it, they freaking hit it, you guys. So this is flat mattes, but they're so amazing and blendable and buildable. And then these are like my favorite eyelid formula from Tom Ford. Probably my favorite formula ever from Tom Ford. I don't know why they never launched a palette like this one again because it went over so well and it was just, this is worth $90 in my opinion. So uh, yeah, keeping that. Okay, Insolent Rose. <sighs> I'm gonna have to declutter this one. I like this because it's pinky, so it's a little bit different. But these palettes from Tom Ford, like this kind of formula with just the plain mattes and then in the shade that gets hard pinned really easily, I just struggle with finding reasoning to keep these because they absolutely are not worth the money. They do look pretty on the eyelid, but it's just not worth it. It's not a worthwhile formulation for the price. So I would probably declutter that. So Let Elune is one of the most unique color stories if you ask me. And I know this looks untouched. It's because I had an older one and I got this for a really good deal at the cosmetic company store. So I refreshed it. And me repurchasing it says a lot because this quad is just divine. It's unique. Absolutely would keep this one. It's been a while since I've used a Tom Ford quad, especially in a video. Okay, so we have Badass. This is one of the worst launches from Tom Ford. The formula looks like something that I would like, but the shades are extremely sticky. I don't really use these really dark, smoky tones. So yeah, I, I really would have no business keeping this one, beautiful as it is. Um, formulation's not there, so that would be a declutter seductive rose right here you see this is the formula that I'm not really into so I would have really not much reason to keep this the hard pan shades and then just the plain shimmers which honestly I do feel like sometimes can pull patchy so this one I would declutter Noah Foom so this is one where I don't love it it's not worth the money but it is very pretty, very useful, but I'm thinking, you know, in a realistic collection, this just isn't necessary. Tom Ford didn't do anything special enough with this formula with these shades being very dupable. So I think I would declutter this one, which kind of hurts me. Like this is one that I feel like I definitely would want to keep. I like having it if I want a neutral look like this from Tom Ford, but in this scenario, I would declutter it. 
Which brings us to the last one. This is an oldie, titanium smoke, but it's a goodie. Tom Ford can throw down, especially in the older days, a smoky palette. This is, to this day, one of my favorite smoky palettes. It's been a long time since I've used this, and now I want to pop a smoky eye on my eye. Can no longer get it, unfortunately. And that's how it is with a lot of Tom Ford quads, and I don't like that. They discontinue so quickly, but this one, to me, is a collector's item, so I would keep this one. We decluttered 14 palettes so these are the 14 palettes that if a burglar came into my house and was like give me 14 top board palettes <laughs> i would give them these and then i would keep 15 palettes which is very excessive if i didn't have a youtube channel but i i, I just can't you guys i'm a makeup enthusiast now that being said the thing with Tom Ford is it's very hit or miss and I purchased a lot of these knowing I would feel that way because of my job and what I do and for those of you that are interested in Tom Ford I purchased these so that you don't have to so I can tell you whether it's going to be the best of the best or just not even worth the money at all. My advice to anybody who's starting a Tom Ford collection, check out your local cosmetic company outlet. Those are the best deals on Tom Ford palettes. Do your research, check out my rankings videos. I did one last year of the best and worst Tom Ford palettes. But just know, buying full price is very, very risky, even to the point where I do this as a job that I've stopped purchasing them because $90 is a lot and it's kind of ridiculous. But when they hit the hit, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> so anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful. I posted recently Natasha Denona and Pat McGrath versions of this. I think I'm going to head into Dior maybe soon. I've been having a lot of fun with these and reorganizing my drawers after I do this. So anyways, make sure you like this video, subscribe to my channel, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye guys, have a good one.